Welcome back, my name is Hara Piku, the game is Mass Effect 2. Last time, we went to Horizon, and uh, the game crashed. So, this episode, we will be headed to the Citadel, and doing some shopping. Hope that's the ones that already researched. Mm -hmm. This can be this palladium. I can't afford to use, use some palladium. Omni deal from Morn, huh? Ezo. All my Ezo, actually. Negotiation power. Hmm. Dre R. Me. I don't. Really, as a sniper, I don't really tend to be in melee all that often. Strange, I know, but uh, I don't think I need to melee resist. Still need a heck of a lot of platinum. Commander, you was. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hack at Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard. I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. I thought this DLC didn't trigger until a little bit later. What's Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? Alright, I guess we know what we're doing this episode. <sighs> so much for going shopping on the Citadel. Miranda wants to see you. Miranda's loyalty mission. pleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. 
My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. How'd your father take that? He was less than pleased. Several of his security guards were injured in the process. He knows not to come after me. But this isn't about me. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. And uh, I need to not forget to turn off my fan. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. And she's also, you know, what, five years younger than you? Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus, and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Alright, but uh, yeah, Hackett's thing takes priority. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. You really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. Yeah. I don't blame you. Although, they only got a third of the colony, so there's a 66 repeating chance that you wouldn't have been abducted. Although, those are still kind of lousy odds. I wouldn't recommend. Jacob wants to speak with you. Am I going to be doing the mission for Akid, or am I going to be collecting all the loyalty mission requests? Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it, even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had 10 years to get to where I am, and as far as I know, He's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. 
I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Yeah, dusty old bones. No one else? Okay, let's keep going then. We're already ten minutes deep. Really have I'll be getting operative next, I think. Yes. Yes. Stealth mission time. Well, I will admit, sniper rifles don't tend to be the most quiet of weapons. Dr. Kensons don't tend to make for happy hackets. Still floating. Hmm. 
something. Maybe this way. Difference doesn't make. Hmm. I forget if this is a game over or not. Apparently not. That's where they want me to come in. There. Por bebê. Down, you silly. Oh, 
Oh well, whatever. received my message. We're not safe here. Can you walk? I'm fine. Just give me a moment. We have to go. Now. If we can find a console, I can hack security. Make us an escape path. Then we'll find one. Go! Yeesh. Flashbang. This is a cell block. There should be a security console here somewhere. Uh, somewhere is the part I'm worried about. Oh. Are you crazy? Well, that works. Come on, pop your head back out. Or not out. Keep them off me while I hack us away out. Oh yeah, is that all? Two person teams to cell block, now! Now, from which way do you say come? From that away!
I got overran, which as a sniper is the worst possible thing. Am I so bad? Stop jerking about. That did it. Let's move. Come on, hurry up. Oh, one last thing. The hangar doors are hard locked. I'll have to get those open the old fashioned way. Leave that to me. Impressive. Yeah, it's almost like I do this for a living. Come on, pop your ugly mug back out. Oh. You went way out. I feel like I do the same thing every time. 
I play this DLC. Just wither about blindly for a bit. We have to break the locks on the bay door. Yeah, like that, stupid. We have to break the locks on the bay door. Oh, there's two locks. Oh, it's almost like it wasn't meant to be broken. Should be well out of range before they get their security measures unscrambled. Do you think they'll come after you? I'm not taking any chances. Batarians don't take kindly to humans who plan to destroy their mass relays. So the charges against you are true? Well, to be fair, that's about half the story. My people and I were here investigating rumors of Reaper technology out in the fringes of this system. I guess you found something. We found proof that the Reapers will be arriving in this system. When they get here, They'll use its mass relay to travel throughout the galaxy. We call it the Alpha Relay. From here, the Reapers can invade anywhere in the galaxy. So you decided to destroy it. Exactly. Doing that would stop the Reapers' invasion. Even at FTL speeds, it'd be months or years before they got to the next relay. We came up with what we just called the Project. A plan to launch a nearby asteroid into the relay and destroy it before the Reapers could arrive. Of course, the resulting explosion would probably wipe out the system. Yeah, that sounds uh, bad. I've always heard that mass relays are indestructible. I've heard that too. But I think it's more that nobody's willing to find out what happens when one is destroyed. And, well, we plan to slam a small planet into the thing at very high speed. By our calculations, that's more than enough. Why do you think destroying the mass relay would destroy the entire system? Mass relays are the most powerful mass effect engines in the known galaxy. The energy released from a relay's destruction would probably resemble a supernova. This is a remote system, but just over 300,000 Batarians live on the colony where they held us. The explosion would undoubtedly kill them all. <sighs> is the project still operational? I... I imagine it is. We were one button press away from launch when the Batarians arrested me. I still don't see how you learned about this supposed invasion. The evidence came from what we call Object Row, a Reaper artifact we discovered among the asteroids near the relay itself. When we get back to Arcturus Station, I'll explain everything and provide copies of all our notes on the artifact. The stakes are too high. If you were willing to destroy a whole system over this, I want to see your proof. I guess I can't argue with that. Give me a moment. Kenson to Project Base. Affirmative. And I've got Commander Shepard with me. Tidy up the lab. The Commander needs to confirm the artifact. All set. Just sit back and relax. We'll be there in no time. Here we are. Welcome to Project Base. What's this? That's our countdown to arrival. When that gets to zero, the Reapers will have come. Just over two days and counting. Puts things in perspective, doesn't it? 
How do you know that's an accurate countdown? It is. The artifact has been giving off pulses at definite intervals since we found it. The intervals have been decreasing at a steady rate. The artifact is reacting to the Reaper's proximity. In just over 48 hours, the pulses will become constant, and the Reapers will be here. You're saying the Reapers could be at Earth in two days? There's no time to waste. Then let's show you that proof. That door exits the hangar. The artifact is in our central lab area. I <clears throat> seem to recall getting my butt kicked over and over again at this part. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach the system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this relay must be destroyed. Hmm. We have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec, let me get the door. Commander Shepard, I give you Object Row. You have the Reaper artifact just sitting here, out in the open? When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Project Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Oh boy. Shoot! Sure, the gun you were pointing at my head sure convinces me of that. Take it to the med 
they patch her up. We want Shepard alive. Like Shepard was waking up a moment ago. But it could be a glitch in the system. Oh. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. I think you're real cute. Let's see, let's see. Step away from the terminal. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel... I can't help but think we're doing Curses. That was on your shoulder to hit. Well, there's nice to do a little salvaging. What are you doing? Yeah. 
loaded into goopy, messy pieces. Out of here. Sure that was a direct hit. Curses. Uh, Move too quickly. Soldier all on my own. Someone want to explain to me how that didn't hit? I threw my shields. Shots. Oh, so angry. Okay, back up. supposed to be going again. Oh yeah. Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. Do you wish to continue? Alert! 
all colonists living in the Bahak system. This is... Shepard, no! Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO-core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. Not if I get to you first. Let's go! Oh boy. Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. I've already activated the project. We can still escape this rock. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, Kenson! You've been spotted. How did that hit neither of you? Trapped is a interesting word to use. Rather not, thanks. Target's close. <sighs> Warning. Access to the reactor area is restricted. How do I stabilize the reactor core? All automatic safety protocols have been overridden. That button in time, I think. There's Kenson being a moron. Getting shot in the back again. There. I'm not hearing a prompt to examine the door.
I do appreciate that there's so much more ammo drops. Too late. Anybody else want to come try to ruin my day? Reactor temperature approaching critical. Nice, I get a free takeout on the commander. Or elite, or whatever he is. Still cute game. Ouchie, ouch. Chance. 
Book it, gotta book it. Out all the time world. Oh, this might be useful. Extremely nice. And palladium. Put these in here. Well saved. That ain't running yet. situation in the world. Get us out of here, 
Joker. Looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batariot system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof. The Reapers were coming. And destroying that relay was the only way to stop them. Kenson sedated me for almost two days. I started the engines with little more than an hour left. I tried to warn the Batarian colony, but... Time ran out. The Batarians report no survivors from Aratat. At least you tried. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, I can be friendly. I'll gladly stand trial once this mission is done. Glad to see working with Cerberus hasn't stripped away your sense of honor. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. And thus concludes the arrival DLC. <clears throat> Experience gains 1000, level order 10, squad points 2. This is Dr. Amanda Ganson, who was rescued from the veteran prison on the planet of Aratot. 
Shepard confirmed her proof of a Reaper invasion. Shepard was captured by Kansen, who had been inoculated by the Reaper artifact. Shepard escaped and activated the project, destroying the Alpha Relay and ending the Reaper invasion. Dr. Kensen did not survive. The Bahawk system and all its inhabitants were destroyed. Some upgrades, some credits, some ESO, Palladium, Meridium, and uh, yeah. So, mm. next episode, we'll be going to the Citadel for a shopping trip. Until then, like, comment, subscribe, and leave a million if you'd be so kind. Get off the lawn and fill the casuals.